Okay, so this is testing the HD cam on a more modern laptop. If it doesn't crash again, I think it had some issues with video cards. I'm going to have to check the video settings. Yes, another shitty day in LA with fucking illegals, as I'll say it. But it wasn't terribly as bad. It's just that if you don't watch your back, you will get screwed by people now. Um, sadly, Moosey lost his suit, apparently. Someone broke in and was had the nerves to steal that one item. He thinks it's, they think it's a box of tools, but most fursuiters do not buy Pelican cases with double locks and everything. Well, there are some that actually do have Pelican cases. I've seen the one guy, Bird, Derp, whatever, in Blue Jay, has a nice Pelican case. And even my ex had that where he put the head in one side and the bodysuit and the rest of it. But her wings don't fit in there. We had to find a, a really weird, like, large rifle case, actually, to fit her full-size wings that fold up. But beyond any of those components and parts, um, Moosey just has a head with distinct feature known as the moose horns. Now my best bet would be the person broke in, saw the shiny box out in front, saw the other stuff in there, and the box was easy accessible. Because if you're a first suitor, you probably may have to rent storage space. I think storage space is pretty safe for the most part. But however the attack was targeted or not, I think it was targeted. It's possible that Moosh probably had his phone and maybe someone geolocated a picture like they did to me. Uh, you got to make sure you remove all that personal information off of your pictures or make sure you take pictures on a site that you don't know because people tend to case a lot now. But however it's done, from what he explained, is they broke into the storage, which I would assume there's a lock to it, a single lock at least. Um, most modern storages today have the lock with either one or two holes. You can put your padlock on it. I've always bought this disc lock. They've been pretty stable. Um, I've seen them when they have to cut a disc lock off. It's usually a huge fee because um, the grinder doesn't cut through and takes a lot longer to get through it. But if you're sitting there grinding it off, so I'm thinking the person just used a regular padlock and probably a bolt cutter or something simple. I could be wrong, but... People have gotten pretty smart around this with a bolt cutter that will actually cut modern locks if they don't have that shielding around it. The shielding doesn't mean that it's bulletproof. It's just there's an extra layer, so it delays the time to cut that lock off a lot longer. But that's all the goal is. So anyhow, um, from what I understand, is it was stolen last Monday. Um, I pinged him about it a few times. He's gotten more than 17,000 views, which is way more than me. So, yes, I'll just say it. The only good illegal is a fucking dead one because I have a very strong suspicion, but I don't think it really was because it was just one box. And like mine, it cleared out everything else in my in my car, and that was 100 pounds worth of junk, including a couple of batteries and alarm panels. So, put that beyond said, yeah, that's pretty much where it stands. So... Um, but I have a hunch because the fact that it had horns in there, when you open the box up, you're going to see horns. So someone probably figured it had value. See, for me, I'm pretty sure they thought it was tools because there was a tool bag that was stolen with my work tools, but they didn't touch my laptop bag. They didn't touch, they did touch the tablet bag, which is, that was gone for me, but that was a cheap freebie tablet, so I didn't care much about it. It just had proprietary software that I have never gotten around to rebuilding for data logging projects back in the day, data logging remote control projects. But yeah, everything changed. Majority of the custom-made paranormal gear was all taken from mine. So the person who had nerve actually probably popped the cover open and said, oh, this is good stuff, so they took it open. So I get the feeling that the person who picked up his box, because most full suitor, not partial, you have that tub, and most of that tub is going to be full with your bodysuit. So most people, and I don't know if you're like most suitors, do you put your bodysuit on top of your head, or do you put the bodysuit in first and the head on top? So if you put the head on top, the horns are going to be showing, and that usually gives it away. Now, the people who stole it, I'm 90% sure, probably had some tools, because obviously they cut the lock, and had some skills, but whether they went through his stuff is a different story because they looked for an, a shiny object, and was probably the box in the front. They picked it up, and instead of thinking that it was tools, because if it was tools, tools, I don't know about you, make a loud noise when you pick it up, and you can shake it. If you pick it up, a, a, a case, a, a fursuit case with a bunch of 
fursuit material, which is generally pretty well padded. I don't know if you know anyone who has a fursuit that jingles like crazy. It Usually you can shake the case up and you don't hear anything. It sounds like clothes. How I know this is related to my incident? Well, because the fact that my bag of tails was stuffed to the brim with tails and also had some fluffy material so it doesn't move around. As a matter of fact, I think there's, if I remember correctly, there was a few bags of silver jewelry that I was trying to move from water damage, but I wrapped them up so that they don't jingle. So if you think about it, you shook the bag, you wouldn't hear anything. Just like my tech case with all of the uh, paranormal gear that was stolen because you buy a case with the foam padding and you put all the stuff, the pick and pluck foam, they call it, at least Pelican calls it pick and pluck. I don't know what uh, Harbor Freight calls it, but the idea is still the same. You put the components in there so they don't shake around and bump around. So for someone to take stuff and to have some intelligence to, t to know that stuff either has value to something, it's generally a targeted attack. I hate to say it. Mine was somewhat targeted, but because they actually came around twice, they actually had enough time, so they probably had a truck parked across and because it was a bike. What I knew about my attack was targeted was the fact that I had noticed stuff missing out of my car, but it could have been me not locking the door in my own parking lot. Yeah, that one behind the metal fence and everything. So um, that would have been a flag for me, but because I still had my tails and still had all my gear, I didn't really push it very hard. It's the premonition I had the night before that should have said not work there. Moose also said he has some premonitions about this, but I don't know. You have to talk to him directly. He actually lives close around here. I didn't realize he's in the Anaheim area, and now Anaheim is having issues right now because the economy is failing, yet we still have a lot of shitty traffic with $6.30, 40 cents per gallon. This is one of the reasons why I'm always at this office now and I'm being yelled at. But maybe there's an agreement. I'll fix your network and computers. That's $100 an hour. 90 is actually pretty cheap. But yeah, everyone's telling me this. Depends on who you talk to. But you know what? If I can get an office to hang out with a few times a week, that would save me $100 in gas. So that's actually better because three tanks of gas to orbit in in Illegal's town, apparently... Uh, Illegal's Garden apparently has a lot of gas and a lot of people that can't drive and if you're not paying close attention they'll just back right in front of you so and the other problem is they're doing construction from what I can tell they're putting city sewage in across the street from us so I'm gonna have to give them at least one or two weeks to complete that um, someone bought the lot next to us which was kind of odd because uh, uh, most people who buy lots underneath power lines generally uh, usually buy botanic gardens or something where they don't put houses there so I don't know so it might be commercial so we'll see but it's gonna be a few month project but it seems like there's a lot of construction project going on as a matter of fact Orbit's crew is now instructed about once a week to go over with a magnetic push cart it's a device they actually make you roll it over your parking lot and you drop you it, to pick up screws now I don't know if it's our guys or the construction guys on the street but we've lost a lot of expensive tires, so now we've been doing this as a courtesy. Now, I've lost tires, too, and I have a hunch they came from Orbit side because in the last three years of the lockdown when we did construction, we had enough problems ourselves. Now, I've been instructed, yeah, if you do carry screws with you, try to make sure you throw them away or carry a trash can because a lot of the short ones with the washers on them will always end with the pointy side up. And if they end up on the floor of this parking lot, you almost can't see them and you'll just run them over with and uh, they'll prick your tires constantly. So you run into that problem because it's a screw. It's like a nail. Unlike a nail, though, it tends to stick to the tire. So if it's a nail, the pressure could push the nail back out. But it's a screw. It sticks in. So, but. Yeah, we've had a lot of issues with that, but that seemed to be fixed. We've had a lot more break-ins recently. Um, we've had some attempts, actually. It could have been the door blew open because the guys didn't close the door correctly and the latch didn't kick in the magnetic access control. So we've had a bunch of other issues. Um, right now, we've had someone that goes and by the weekend, I guess, uses No Way code. I have to con see if No Way Junior, I think they share the same access code. But it showed it on the logs, and that's just usually our maintenance guy sometimes moving stock on the weekends or moving stuff around. So I sometimes get there late, like now, and leave at 11. But yeah, we've had some weird stuff happening there, and sometimes I guess I have to find out, but I didn't realize there was actually in our office, there is an opening in the front office 
that goes out because I was just talking to one of the person who takes public transportation last week and that's how they get out. I think it just shuts behind you, so I could be wrong. But there is a few exit locations, but our compound isn't super secure because obviously we've been hit a few times. And the most common one that they done repetitively is they cut the chain on the on the uh, metal gates. Uh, the uh, power you know has electric motors. So they cut the chain on there and they cut out a square hole and they cut the chain on the bottom that runs along the bottom that pulls the gate in and out. So now we have to double padlock it. Now, of course, I wouldn't mind building a electromagnetic. I've seen that, and I shouldn't say not building. I think you could just weld one in there. But I've seen them take those mag locks, and they've made mechanisms where when the door closes, it stays energized. So when the gates close, they stick, and then it's got like a six thousand or one ton pole on it. So once it's stuck, it's locked in position, and you can't pull it open. When you open the gate. That's the thing. I have to look at the controller if it supports it. Sometimes they have an external light or something that goes off or the motor kicks on. Uh, what some people do is they take that motor and as long as the um, motor is active, it doesn't matter. It's an AC relay. So whatever direction the motor goes, let's say it powers the motor to pull the gate open, that hits a normally closed relay and releases the magnet so it opens it. I believe that's what they did down the street here and many other ones, but because Orbit's not interested in hiring an engineer anymore, and obviously someone like me that can figure this stuff out and rebuild stuff as necessary, would prefer to do that. So I would end up that method to do things. Um, but I have to find out a little bit more about that. So it's an on or off dealy. Dealy, they call it the dealy. On or off dealy. So now I've got to do some homework tonight because I do plan to mess around with my amplifier again. I did it last night, but I fell asleep and got tired, and I was like scratching my head because I couldn't figure out which was the control line, but then I started touching around the board and heard a hum, so that must have been the control line for some sort of muting circuit. So the thing is that modern, older audio equipment, when you plug in the line in, it cuts into the line in. Modern ones have electronic selections, and they have basically muting circuits, so when you select different inputs, it really is allowing one input and then muting the others unless you have an actual mixer. So I just got to figure out where that signal is coming from, meter it out, and then just put a fixed circuit on there and it'll take care of what I'm trying to do. So that way I don't have to switch stuff in and out. Or even put a hardware switch, I don't even care. As long as it stays in the mode that I wanted in on power up. So that's all. But it's just some other things I'm messing with. I'm in Bob's office again. This camera works great. It's doing 60 frames, I think, surprisingly. But it's only a 720 for a gaming computer. After all, it's only it's less than $2,000, so they're not going to put a high-end camera on here. The video card works great. I was able to run some stuff on there. And other than that, it works just like anything else that I've used. Anyhow, so... A project updates on the flip side, not much. Um, things are moving along slowly. Um, the economy probably is tanking, so I don't think I should run any more stuff because then you're going to run into that. But there's a lot of people still buying stuff, which is what gets me. That everyone's buying stuff, yet everyone's telling me they have no money. So, which is it? Do you have money or you don't? Because there's no need to grow anything if there is no money. But I think 90% of it's all political now. So it's, it's, if it becomes that route and we lose our skills and merits, then obviously uh, some of us is going to have to step it up a notch and be acting military man where skills and merits is the only way to win the game. So anyhow, I am taking off because it's almost 11.